Equalities Calls, the story of voting rights in America, written by Deborah Dyson and illustrated by Magdalena Mora. Equalities Call. There's our title page, the story of voting rights in America. Our founders declared when our country began that consent of the governed was part of the plan. Let's see, she's talking about voting rights. Through voting, elections, and representation, the voice of the people would strengthen our nation. In fact, though, for years, this great founding ideal was extended to some and for others, not real. But we heard in the distance equality's call. A right isn't right until it's granted to all. White men with property went to the polls, but the rest of the people were left off the rolls. The dream of democracy wasn't yet true. There were changes to make. There was work still to do. But we heard growing clearer equality's call, a right isn't right till it's granted to all. The rules about wealth were the first thing to go. As more were enfranchised, their voices would grow. And a small group of voices was raising the fact that enslavement was wrong, an unspeakable act. Good people stood up for the truth that they knew. Abolition and suffrage were long overdue. We heard ever louder equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. There was war in our nation and slavery ended. Amendments were added. The franchise extended. Now, more men could vote, at least so the law said, yet denial through taxes and tests was widespread. And the voices of women were mostly omitted. In only some states was their voting permitted. And these are examples of the literacy tests that they used to uh, make it so that some people couldn't vote. But nothing could muffle equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. Give us the vote now. Votes for women. What will you do for women suffrage? Suffragists didn't give up on the fight, and the 19th Amendment gave women the right. But voters of color still met with oppression. Their voting was hindered by brutal suppression. So we passed legislation to make voting fair to extend and protect voters' rights everywhere. And here's some of the things that were passed. 1924, the Indian Citizenship Act is passed. 1964, the Civil Rights Act is passed. 1965, Selma to Montgomery March Voting Rights Act is passed. And 1970, First Extension of Voting Rights Act. So people have been working, in some cases for a long time, to get these things passed. We heard it, we felt it, equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. The journey's not over. The work hasn't ended. Democracy's dream must be constantly tended. But where are we now is a debt that we owe to the work of more people than ever will know. And each time we vote, we acknowledge the past. We honor our rights to ensure they will last. For to vote is to answer equality's call. And each time we vote, we vote with them all. All right. And then there's a lot of information at the back of this book. So if you have it or you buy it or check it out of the library, you can read about the voting related amendments and legislation that helped make voting more equal from where it was at the beginning to where it is now. And there could still be work done to make it more fair. But the different acts that were passed to help people of color, women, um, the elderly, the handicapped all be able to vote.
And there are is a list of some voting rights activists who um, did work to get voting to be fair and for all. And here's our dedication to Mason Isaac from the author and to Lorraine and Wands, both Wands, from the illustrator. The author is grateful for the invaluable input and assistance of historian Marsha Barrett. Any mistakes are my own. And the illustrator says, the illustrator is grateful for the input of historians Juan Mara Torres and Juan I. Mora and Carolina Ortega. So that was Equality's Call.